Okay, boys and girls, uh, we're going to look at some uh, Bitcoin <coughs> stocks. First of all, pardon my pardon my voice and my cough. I've got a little bit of the creeping mung, whatever it is. And so uh, I'm operating, uh, let's just say I'm flying at half mast. How's that? So, okay, we've got MicroStrategy in a really, really solid uptrend here on the weekly chart. Nice breakout. Um, there's only one thing wrong with it, and that is that this last bar... Uh, was on Friday the 29th. And so uh, what a difference a week or two makes. So we gap up, but nonetheless, it's a higher intra-week high, a higher intra-week low. Uh, that takes us to last Friday. So it's all good. You're going to get this kind of, you're going to get this kind of move. And then this happens. This is the kind of move you don't want to get. Um, so you can be a big fan of, of crypto, a big fan of Bitcoin. I am. I, I own uh, not, not, a, not enough. I, I own a lot, but not as much as I'd like. Um, so this is actually kind of good news for me because when the, when the crypto stocks and micro strategy, and I think their macro strategy is buy Bitcoin, but when micro strategy is down like this, it's because Bitcoin's down. So the thing is, don't be sitting here. Don't be a fanboy on this and say, oh, here's my buying opportunity. No, you can buy this stock, but for crying out loud, man, this is a bunch of red boxes here. This is a bunch of red sticks that just keep going lower. So this is a broken stock right now. It'll take a while. <coughs> Excuse me. It'll take a while to regain, but we've been kind of trading this all the way up taking, you know, setting stops, taking some partial profits, setting stops. And then finally, I think this last stop up here was at uh, at 614, which I believe was, yeah, just a little bit below this one. And so this position was closed a while ago, or I should say several percentage ago. So you got to use stops on this stuff. So that's micro strategies. Mara, um, same same thing. We, we this was a really really good trade, but and it was a really really good stock, but not now. It's not. So and I know I'll get some uh, comments on YouTube. I don't get a lot, um, but I'll get a few emails and see them in the trading room and all that. Uh, you're a, like, oh, but you don't understand, Mara. No, I understand it just fine, guys. Uh, but this you get this big old move like this this kind of fish hook move on Bollinger Bands, this is a good tell that this move is over on the weekly chart. So this can come a lot lower. Um, big breakdown here. You don't want to be long this stock. And you can sit here. Hopefully you'll sit and you'll wait and you won't buy it and you won't buy it. And then whether it's a week or a month or two from now, um, this stock will have stabilized and it'll start going up and you might say, ha, Dan, you were wrong. Well, I might be in it already. <laughs> so I'm not writing, I'm not, I'm not writing off marathon digital holdings. I'm writing off this chart. It's a big difference. So no thank you for this chart. Um, Riot, same thing, guys. So the um let's just say that the bloom has come off the rose. Um, now, IBIT here, the Bitcoin trust is down another 6.23. Uh, this is, this should have been, sh should not have been a surprise um, to you. And it's something that I've been talking about. It's something that Scott's been talking about for a while now, which is there's been so much anticipation for Bitcoin ETFs that like, what's going to happen? What's going to happen to the underlying? <clears throat> what's going to happen to these? And it's it was definitely the minority opinion to think that once the ETFs were released, Bitcoin would scream higher because that would be the most anticipated trade in the world. And as typically happens with the most anticipated trade in the world, it never works out. And so I don't think this is any, this is really no different here. So at the present time, I look at these ETFs and I'll just, I'll just tell you this, they're dead to me. Like I said, and don't, if you're a, 
if you're a big fan of Bitcoin, welcome. Me too. But the this these are dead right now. You don't if you're really really interested in this. Oh, I've been waiting for for Bitcoin ETFs. Wait a little bit longer. Ultimately, this will stabilize, but it's not going to stabilize next week. It's not going to stabilize two weeks from now. It's not going to stabilize next month. It's going to take a while for all this stuff to work its way through the system. But you can watch IBIT here. You can watch Riot. You can watch Mara. You can watch MicroStrategy. All of these are going to be trading in sympathy with each other. And that's important for you to know. Because if you see one of these things turn around, okay, that's fine. But then go look at the other charts and see if they're doing the same thing. And if they are doing the same thing, then that really means something. But if it's just kind of a one-off, then maybe it's just a supply and demand issue for that particular stock. There's a difference between those two dynamics, okay? All right, um, that's all I got for you. Remember, uh, Monday is a holiday. We're celebrating Martin Luther King Day. Uh, certainly one of the greatest people this country's ever produced and one of the greatest people that um, has ever been assassinated in this country. It's, it's so much crap going on here. Sometimes it just breaks my heart. Anyway, that's for another conversation with other people. I'll see you. <laughs>